six, what can fans expect from you this season? So season six is my comeback season. I feel like what they can expect is just the real April. You know, I feel like when I was on Love & Hip Hop before, I was in a relationship, I was pregnant, I couldn't really have fun. I wasn't really filmed with all the other cast members. So this is me finally, you know, as a mom, but stepping back into the LA life, working, hustling, and you know, getting my groove back, feeling sexy, just being bomb, living my best life. What made me come back to Love & Hip Hop was honestly where I'm at in my life is that, you know, I feel like Love & Hip Hop honestly does have benefits and it helps people with their careers. And I feel like, you know, now I'm in a, in a place where I'm doing my music. You know, I'm a, I'm a single mom in LA and I want people to know what I do in my life and, and be inspired. I'm an open book and that's kind of why I chose to come back. My relationship with Drew, he's definitely someone who I always consider just like an angel sent into my life. I've known him for some years, but we've definitely gotten close over the past maybe three or two to three years. He has been there through the course of just the shit that I deal with with the father of my kids. Just helping me in that aspect. I'm a single mom, I have no family in LA and it's awesome to be able to have a friend who chooses to do what's right, to be there and support his friend, to make sure that I am healthy mentally. And honestly, he's just an angel sent into my life. And I'm just truly, honestly grateful for him. There's no relationship between Omari and I. I would honestly say that we co-parent and we can't even do that. It's very difficult. I would honestly say this is probably the worst that it has been in our relationship because we don't really communicate because he won't communicate. So it's hard to, you know, be dealing with the court stuff, not communicating, having children, my son's getting ready to start school. Um, so that's kind of where we are. Me and Drew's relationship is a friendship. When it pertains to me dealing with the father of my children and how difficult it has been, he's stepped in. You know, he sees the way that Omari doesn't communicate or how when he does communicate, it's very ignorant at times. And, you know, he feels bad for me. Me and him are as close as we are because he's dealing with someone who's almost similar to his children. You know, we have that compatibility, you know, in both both dealing with the mother and father of our children. So he steps in just to help me get sleep or, you know, when he sees that I don't have anyone to help me with the children, he'll be like, look, you gotta go work, you gotta make your money, go ahead and do what you gotta do. That was what a friend would do, you know? Hell, thank God. <laughs> I think that in reality, when you think about life, cause I'm a realist, I have fallen in love with best friends before and I'm not opposed to feeling like I wouldn't fall in love with him or couldn't, but I think where we are is where we are. And I think when you talk about me and Drew, it's a very sensitive subject because we both are kind of fucked up from our relationships. I think me and him are both smart enough to know that if it was something that we decided to do, um, because we've talked about how we feel about one another, that we would definitely want to be smart in how we maneuver. So therapy and sh like that before, uh-uh. Can't just be just hopping up into no relationship. No thanks, no thanks. But I'm not opposed to f***ing him, is that what you mean to say? I mean, I'm not, a bitch needs some and I'd rather give it to a person that's my friend as opposed to someone who's just a guy that I'm knowing. He's deserving of the p***y. Let's just be really honest. Drew is definitely deserving of the p***y. If I decide to give it to him one day, I would be proud of that because I have given guys my vagina that don't deserve it. He deserves it. I deserve it, hell. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Lyrica. Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to get more of me and the rest of the Love & Hip Hop Hollywood facts.